Hardly. Someone tried to kill me. Hey, I'm Dick Darren. Tracy Grace. I want you and Tracy to take over my agency and run Darren Investigators. One and one not equal two. Okay. Your dad liked to encrypt his case files with some obscure piece of family trivia. So what's this? You scientists like to make things so complicated. Just tell me. All right. Eleven. Eleven what? Just eleven. One and one don't make two when they're side by side as eleven. It can't be that simple. with his family. Dick and Tracy, this is your next case. A rash of robberies in the upscale West Hill neighborhood. The latest victim, the mayor himself. Over $50,000 worth of his wife's jewelry collection vanished three nights ago, and this despite 24-hour police surveillance. And the mayor's chief concern now is his daughter Alyssa. If they can break into his house so easily, is his family safe? He wants her watched by us. We won't let him down. How's keeping an eye on his kid gonna help solve the case? I see we go straight for the thief. Ever play in a low-scoring basketball game but great defense won it for you? Yeah. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Come again? Guarding Alyssa is good defense. If the thief makes a move on her, then we'll be ready. It's good to have you on the team, Tracy. Good luck to both of you. Great. Now he's an expert on basketball. Any third stringer can tell you, you only win a game by scoring. Hmm, right. So your center's 13 rebounds didn't clinch your 54-48 win at all last week. Another expert. I've been watching this girl for hours, and all she does is shot. Lucky kid. Yeah, well, she looks spoiled rotten, if you ask me. Rotten never dressed that well. It's five in the afternoon. It's a little early for clubbing, wouldn't you say? I'm going in. guys. This vamp place is really goth. You know, where everyone dresses up, black clothes, black eye makeup, real dark and spooky. It's listed on the city's website. There, you see? No big deal. No, I'm telling you, this guy looked real. There's more than 1,200 clubs like these in North America alone. Vampires are in. So what was Alyssa doing there in the middle of the day? I don't know. Maybe she was taking private disco lessons. When girls are feeling blue, they like to dance. Sir? The mayor wants to know if you've caught the thief yet. I'll, uh, I'll just tell him you're working on it. Bullock. I want every known thief in the last 20 years rounded up and questioned within an inch of their lives. Meanwhile, I'm posting a reward. $5,000 for any information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. You got all that? Got it. Good, 
it, Tracy. Yeah, are you getting all this? Loud and clear. Having fun? Here's a lesson. Here we go. Hey, um, Tracy. This is my first time here. I'm Alyssa. Hi. I'd like you to meet the owner of the club. Thanks. Shall I show you around? Did you see that? He just kissed her hand. Hands, yes. Lips, no. My private office. Would you like to see it? I, I've got to get friends are waiting. Please, stay. Turnip pudding. Just the thing for breaking spells. Turnip pudding? Trust me. A man put a spell on me once. Really? I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I wandered around in a fog for months. That must have been awful. It was the best time I ever had. <sighs> Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, this guy really did something to me. I mean, how else can you explain why I can't remember how I got home last night? Maybe you flew like a bat. I don't know. The DVT conked out for some reason. Bobby and I ran a check on uh, some of those faces you transmitted from the club last night, and we found out an interesting fact. Which is? Every house that was robbed has a teenage girl, an only child of Lissa's age, and they're all members of the Vamp Club. That defies the laws of probability. What? In mathematics, random variables can be... Whoa, just don't go there, okay? Still, I think I better go have a talk with Alyssa. Morning. How's the Jewel Thief case progressing? Well, we're busy playing defense, if that's what you mean. Anyway, shouldn't we be talking about your case? As I recall, someone's trying to kill you. Thanks for sending me Liam and its video files. As I suspect it, it holds the key to who's after me. My friend paid for it dearly, and now it's in your hands. What do you mean, my hands? I thought we were in this together. I just don't have the means to access the information I require. I need you find out who this man is. It's Chin Man. That's the man who's after me. I need you to find out who Chin Man is and who he's working for. But how are we supposed to find all that out? Just be careful. If they find out I'm still alive, Yo, Alyssa. How'd you know my name? Um, I saw your picture in the paper. Oh, that. My father won't get over it. It's not like someone died or something. I mean, we're talking about bracelets and stupid little earrings. Um, $50,000 worth. Like it's not insured. Come on, my dad's a politician. What a photo op. Um, well, do you have any idea who might have robbed you? No, but I'd love to meet him. I'd marry an axe murderer if it meant getting out of the house. 
You're kind of cute. Do you know the Vamp Club? I've heard of it. You should drop by some night. We can have a good time. No, thanks. Um, vampires give me hives. See ya. You can't just go waltzing into Interpol files. How else are we gonna find out who Chin Man is? That's Tracy's territory. Sounds like she's too bummed out for anything right now. Besides, you haven't got a clue about what you're doing. It's just a matter of finding the right password. There's 26 billion combinations of alphanumeric symbols. Is that all? For a second there, you had me worried. Hello, daring investigators. Vern speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Vern. Listen, can you can you tell the guys I'm sorry, but I can't make it over tonight. I'm not feeling well. I'll call them tomorrow. No problem, Tracy. I'll ensure that the message is relayed. You know, for artificial intelligence, you're not that bad at all. You're pretty hot. You're pretty hot yourself. What kind of twisted program did Dad create? your name I guess so why don't you come clean and we can all go home well, I don't have a home we have witnesses who say you were hanging around the mayor's home the night of the robbery I don't even vote listen wise guy your street buddies turned you in said you were bragging about getting your hands on some hot property yeah maybe I was there that wasn't hard to admit was it no so, Lucas, why not come clean? Admit you stole the jewels and we can all go... We can get you a square meal and take it from there. What do you say? I want a steak. A big, thick steak. With lots of mushrooms. Sure, whatever you want. Just write down what happened. Only the truth now. That's how it's done. Good work, sir. I want his confession hand-rooted to the mayor's office immediately. Got it? We gotta talk. Tracy, what a pleasant surprise. You met Samantha? Now. Of course. So now we talk. Bought you some lunch. Taco Supremo. Jeez, you look even worse than you did yesterday. That was already bad. The latest. Murphy pulls a confession, then hours later, another robbery. Case reopened. I know who the thief is. Who? Me. I found it in my jacket pocket this morning. What's going on, Dick? I went to the vamp club last night to get Vance to take his damn spell off me, but he's got me trapped. You've got to believe me. Sure I do. Would Tracy Grace please come to the office? Tracy Grace to the main office. We gotta go now. Where? An interview with a vampire. Did you 
bring a cross? Did you bring a stake? Okay. Do we wimp or do we act? <sighs> Open it. Well, what a good that's gonna do. Well, what would you suggest? Give him a good night kiss? He's a vampire. Vampires hate direct light. It'll do. Okay. Okay. When I open it, hold it directly into his face. And then? And then he'll he'll wither and die. Oh, of course. Must have missed that lecture. Go. Ready? Ready when you are, Buffy. That's Samantha's house where the bracelet was stolen. But I just met her last night. So, so what am I doing at her place? I don't remember any of this. Vance somehow messed with your head, and... A vampire spell. That's it. You take lonely, depressed teenage girls. All of them only children, right? You lure them in with your Draculian charm. You hypnotize them. And then you, you send them off as your little army to rob from their rich, neglectful parents. And you use sweet Alyssa as your recruiter and your stable right-hand man, okay? I get it. But I still don't see where I fit into all of this. He set you up so you get caught and take any heat off him. He must have known we were getting close. But how? That, I don't know. Maybe you read your mind. Vampires can do that, you know. That's how he called for me that night. Telepathy. <laughs> Come on, you don't... You don't actually believe in this vampire stuff, do you? Yeah. And that's how we'll trap him. You get anything, Bobby? Negatory, bro. You sure this will work? How should I know? When I want to talk to someone, I pick up the phone. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. <gasps> I've come. We have company. What are you getting inside without getting by me? Don't worry. You're safe with me. Talk to me, Bobby. He's opened his cape and is moving towards her. Expecting someone? No. Good. Because now it's time to take you to the other side. The other side? What are you talking about? Just relax and trust me. Don't even think about it. Vance! You, young lady, are under arrest. And you, too for breaking and entering. What's this? Your ticket to good favor with the mayor? So Murphy's the big hero. Yeah, well, it was either giving him the glory or spending a night in jail. They found over $200,000 in jewels hidden under the bar. Vance should be in jail for a long time. Weird thing is, they ran a check on Vance and no prior record. Not even a birth certificate. It's like the guy doesn't exist. Vampires don't have mailing addresses. So, so what happens to Alyssa? The mayor's running major damage control. 
He's taking away her credit cards. Bingo. I'm in. No way. It's the chin man. How'd you hack in? Tricks of the trade and a phone call to a cousin who works for Interpol. It's no one and everyone. Wanted in connection with 15 acts of terrorism, three assassinations, and eight bombings. <laughs> Gee, just your average fun date. But who's he working for? Dad's in major trouble. Major. <laughs>